The way this is setting up is that this could be a very bad end of the week for Peloton in general. This does appear to be trading on the lowest it's ever traded in its entirety of being listed. Hey guys, welcome to DreamCoin, where we show you how to invest for a better tomorrow. My name is Tyler, and today I'm going to bring you a quick video on why Peloton stock dropped almost 16% during market today, where I think they're going for the next little while, especially with their earnings being tomorrow, May 6th, and who could potentially be a sympathy play coming off of this with rumors of one of their competitors merging as an SPAC. Peloton stock dropped almost 16% today down to a support of around 8141 because they came out and announced that they were going to end up recalling all of their treadmills that were looking to be harmful to children and different household pets and stuff like that this basically erased about four billion dollars of revenue from them from uh, when these initially shipped out and everything and so this is going to be a huge hit on them especially going into quarter three this year so not only are the earnings estimated to be bad tomorrow they could also be even possibly worse come quarter three of their earnings reports because they essentially just lost all of that having to do a recall on these treadmills so as we're looking at peloton going into their earnings tomorrow may 6th we are coming off of a december 2020 where it was announced that they had gained 18 cents per share and tomorrow's projections are that they are actually going to be losing 12 cents per share this is just piling on more to their recent recall that the ceo came out and stated that they were going to do today and so the way this is setting up is that this could be a very bad end of the week for peloton in general for where they were just above a hundred dollars not even two weeks ago as we look at their stock going from yesterday may 4th they did have a decent rise from about 93 dollars at one point in the day all the way up to 98 so they almost recovered back to that above 100 dollar range but as soon as news came out this morning that they were going to recall all their treadmills it just took a huge dive it went from 98 down to the initial drop to like 89 and then it settled down into this channel between 80 142 and 86 for the majority of the day you can see this trend line i put in here around uh, 10 30 in the morning and this is where i was expecting it to go if it were to squeeze back up and get more of a bullish trend but it ended up turning sideways the rest of the day and actually ended up retesting that support down there at the 8142 range so my concern now is if this continues this downward trend and their earnings are not great and even with earnings being great a lot of companies just have been getting sell-offs right after earnings no matter how good they are this could be not good for them as they look into trading throughout the day if this busts through that 81 dollar support i could be seeing them settling into a channel between 75 and 78 dollars for a few days and this is obviously not great for the outlook of anybody that was trying to hold long on this but if you are very confident in the company which i think they could rebound if they do it right and reinstate a lot of their new stuff and get out their cheaper treadmill that they were planning on releasing this could be a nice buy area for you but i think i would wait till it cools off and stops dropping more because it still has a chance to fall through the floor a little more now as one of their potential competitors on the stock market and a sympathy play equinox the large luxury gym that's famous for being in like california and stuff for a lot of people to go actually owns soul cycle and blink fitness and soul cycle is a very direct competitor with them with the group classes of cycling and everything along those lines and they are actually rumored to possibly be merging with ipof as an spac this would possibly get them listed fairly quick from here especially if they're trying to capitalize on the peloton downturn and everything so this could possibly happen in the next month month and a half and i've been very bearish on spacs over the last month or two because they kind of all were just dropping and not going anywhere constantly and it seems like most spacs are on the floor right now so as we look at the chart on ipof and its listing originally it was in december around that 1017 range and it is the exact start where it was from here so i would assume that there's not much lower that this can drop from here if you want something to possibly put a little more risk on for an investment even with spacs not performing i'm sure this 
this will jump up a little bit when a merger is announced or it seems like a merger is starting to ramp up and especially if uh this does heat up with the peloton stuff still going on and them having continued issues this could see a nice bounce to possibly retest around that 14 area and then if it breaks 14 it could hit 15 again when they do have a merger so this could be a decent play that has a little more risk into it just because spacs haven't been performing that well and then the argument for this also being a safer play in a different scenario is that this does appear to be trading on the lowest it's ever traded in its entirety of being listed and so this could be a nice bounce from where it's at to possibly that channel up here that i was talking about between 14 and 15. that's gonna do it for me in this video today guys i hope that helped you out with trying to predict peloton no matter how you're trying to play it or if you just have it on your watch list and you're interested in seeing what happens coming out of the news and into earnings and i hope my interpretations gave you some more insight into why i think ipof could be a nice sympathy play coming off of all of this going on with peloton other than that i'm going to catch you in the next one guys and i hope you enjoyed the video peace